Today, we're going to check out episode 11 of The Eminence in Shadow. Let's jump into it. Long but before we do, maybe consider subscribing to the channel. We're trying to hit 26,000 subscribers by the end of the year, and I think that is very possible if people like you choose to subscribe. And if you like the video, then like and comment, because that helps too. And you can find the full length as well as exclusives over on Patreon. Damn, our boy's in shape. Sheesh, Sid, look at you. Somebody's gonna be here. Guaranteed, someone's gonna be here. Who is it? Oh, is this the girl's side? Or is it a mixed bath? Why is she so shocked? Because she killed him? Is she not aware that he's alive still? Mixed bath? Is it not a mixed bath? I don't know. What is it? What is she so shocked by? I never know what this show. Damn. Damn. Ooh, fighting. Hey. Ancient warriors. Holy shit. <laughs> and she's trying to recruit him so badly. She really needs him. <laughs> I'm a grower, not a shower. <laughs> oh my god, dude. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> She about to... <laughs> We're all fucking done, dude. I'm done. Hey, we can, we can call it quits right here. <laughs> that is funny, man. I wonder who this Olivier is supposed to be. Like, I understand that we're supposed to, we know who he is, but like... I feel like there's more to Olivier than we're aware of. Oh! Wait, she's here too. Damn. Oh, that's sus. That is really sus. He's talking about how they were sent here to investigate the guy, but now he's dead, so nah, you don't really need to be here. I had, that just makes him seem like a suspect. Yeah, he's a fucking asshole. Holy shit. Yeah, he's an asshole. Oh! Bro, hey bro, I'm gonna get really fucking mad if every time I press this space bar, nothing happens. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, um, that's beta. Oh, that's how she does it. Bro, oh, how did they didn't hear you? Whoa, what is this? Why is she giving her the look? Oh, cause she fucked up Sid. <laughs> She's writing the story about him. <laughs> of course. Oh. Oh my god! She's evil! Aw, oh, Sid has to sit all the way over there? That's some bullshit. Wow. 
Sid's like, ooh, light show. Cool. Top Batarius? Oh my fucking god, what am I watching? Mm. <laughs> Perfect example of background character exposition. <laughs> oh my, this is funny, this is the next tin line. Next in line. <laughs> it was daylight. Still ain't happening. Alpha's gonna be in it, right? No? Oh, everybody's out here. What is this? Shadow Garden's just out here, bro. Oh, our boy's definitely showing up now that it's nighttime. Oh, 100%. Oh, she signed his ass up? Mm. Can't do that. Mm. It's Shadow. Dun dun dun. Confuse them. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> yes, I love it, dude. I love it. He's so like edgy and uh, it's fucking great, man. What is that? I am. Atomic. He different, bro. He is built differently. Who is it? It's Olivier or whatever. Or maybe it's the goddess Beatrix, which would be even more huge. I don't know who the fuck that is, so. I could not say for certain. The Witch of Calamity. Holy shit. I wrote about her in a book. Close up on her titties for no reason. Oh, okay, there is a reason. She That's her pocket. You weirdo, dude. Horny, dude. Bandit. Yeah, I don't know about that, Chief. Yeah, I mean, he was atomic. Oh. She dancing? What is this? She's spinning? What is this? Your prediction was wrong, bitch. Shut up. Gotta love these still images. He's dodging every single one. Ooh, my violet-eyed opponent. She about to... She... Ayo, hey, oh, she about to fall in love with him, huh? That's how it works. Ooh, shit. That one got his foot. No shot. He dying. He defeated he defeated some like oh, the witch of calamity. What the fuck? Wait, isn't that also the name of what's her name in, in re zero? Yeah, he just took off he just, he just took off Satala, right? That's the calamity witch of calamity. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong Did he free the spirit or something? Are they freeing the Witch of Calamity, or are they freeing everybody? What is going on? Oh shit, that's probably not a good sign. Uh-oh, that looks like a door. What are they up to? Alpha Delta, right? 
Yeah. I love the beginning of the episode, man. Absolutely hilarious. But the end is also really cool because we get to see him literally taking on, like, one of the most powerful beings that has ever existed in the history of this world, right? And he beats her. That means a lot. That's huge. So I love that. I would say my favorite part of the episode is definitely the beginning. Like, how, how could I not? Oh, I also really like the, the princess and, and beta exchange. That shit was pretty funny too. Excalibur, it's fucking funny, man. The series has some good comedy in it, man. I might say it's a top five comedy of, of the year. It's really fucking funny. Also, the, the fan service. That was great too, man. Gotta, gotta love some nice fan service to start it off and, and you know, throughout as well. But yeah, everything starts off with the with the, the hot spring. That was pretty cool, really funny. Gave us a little insight into why Princess Alexia is there. She's basically looking into the, the Archbishop who's now dead. And then the guy that's in his place, I don't remember what they said he was. Maybe he's just a bishop. He's like, hey, hey, that guy's not here anymore. So do you really need to be here? Uh, hey, how about you check out our thing? And then when it's done, you can do whatever thing you need to do. And then you, but like she even mentions this motherfucker's just doing that. So that way they can clean it all up and, and push it under the rug. That way when she's looking for evidence, there's nothing to be found. He's basically going to make it so that way she doesn't have to do the investigation. That, that's essentially the, the goal that he has in mind. So they're at this thing. Beta doesn't like Princess Alexia for very obvious reasons. Sid was kind of her boyfriend for a short amount of time, and then she killed him. And But I mean, didn't really kill him, but you know what I mean. So of course she's not going to like it, her. Any of the, the, what are they called? The, the seven somethings. There's a, they have a term, right? I, I, they mentioned the term and then I was like, what is that? And then everybody's like, nah, and I was like, okay, well, whatever. I'm not good with names. I already, I, I mentioned that literally all the time, but who cares? So I guess Sid leaving breaks this prison open. The, the bald guy puts some sort of dome that would entrap any spirits that are leaving. But Sid, because he's so powerful, breaks in, defeats a powerful, being and then flees but i guess when he's leaving it somehow cracks a dome not really sure how all that works i'm sure we'll find out in the next one the, well the cracking might actually be because of alpha not because of sid because shadow garden is is here for this event as well they're not like in the crowd but they are in the city because of this event trying to figure out whatever I mean, obviously, pro tr probably trying to figure out something to do with Diablo. I really like that the people going in there were just some generic names, some batter guy, uh, next up, not cutting it. Like, I, I love that th their names were so like, you will not succeed, essentially. That was great. Sid never really gets to battle people like that, th never gets to really battle powerful people. So when he's able to fight this person and really like go all out, it's great for him. This is what he lives for. And he wins, of course. We would expect nothing less from the Atomic Man. Now, I'm excited to see what comes out of this door. Probably some spirits, maybe Olivier, Olivier, Oliver, whatever the name was. Maybe Diablos, I don't know, we'll see. That should be really, really cool. Probably not Diablos, that's really, really early to bring that character out. I don't know. But well, we'll find out in the next one. With that said, I'd love to know what you all thought about this one down in the comments below. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, then like the video and subscribe to the channel with notifications on so you don't miss another one. Until next time, make sure you all keep it fresh. Peace.